extensive exercises question number one in lesson nine. So guys, actually, I don't need to read the question. Let's just take a look at the first one. We need to write down the fixed cost that uh, this mega print charge for each order, regardless of the number of cards ordered. So actually, you have to take a look at this place that we learned in class, right? And you will see the total cost in pounds. So that means even though you don't have any number of cards ordered, you still need to pay for four pounds to it. That will be the fixed charge. So four pounds will be the answer to the first question. If you exclude the first the fixed cost, how much is charged for one card to be print to be printed? So uh let's see, we need to find some perfect uh point, the line, cross it. And if we go down and go left, we got two whole numbers. So I will choose this one. If you go down, you got 200 number of cards. And if you go left, you got 10 pounds. So I will use 10 pounds, take away four pounds. So that give me six pounds. And that means I need to pay for extra 10 pounds to get 200 of cards. So question. How much is charged for one card? So I have to use six pounds divided by 200. So let's convert six pounds into 600 pennies first. And I will use 600 pennies divided by 200 card. Means each card gonna cost me three pennies. Okay, question number three. MaxiCard also make business cards, but they charge a fixed cost of let's say six pounds let me use another color guys six pounds gonna be at this place for and and for an order and the total cost of 500 cards is this much 16 pounds let's try to find it this is 500 and you have to find 16 so this point will be the cross point right work out the number of cards for which the total cost would be the same for both company so guys i have to connect these two blue points to find the uh, intersection okay let's see this two point i can have to connect it okay i got it just this point it's just 200. So the answer will be 200 cards. And so that's the answer to this question number one.